Hi and welcome, I'm Shoma and today I'll be talking about the beautiful celestite. Let's take a look. So the celestite is a beautiful light blue color. It's like the color of the sky, like a bright blue cloudless sky. And its name comes from the Latin word celestine which um, stands for celestial which means the heavens the sky so it is actually named after the sky and uh, it was associated with the Roman goddess Juterna who is the goddess of ponds and brooks and like little water bodies so it has this gentle soothing nourishing energy or and water energy in it so it's associated with the higher chakras so you have the throat chakra the blue the adnya chakra for the third eye and the sahasra chakra or the crown chakra for connecting with divine consciousness or shiva so in the chakra system the lowest chakra or the muladhara root chakra is associated with the color red like i had made a video on the cherry quartz associated with the root chakra and that's associated with goddess feminine energy the Devi Ma Parvati and the crown is associated with Lord Shiva so the Kundalini energy which is wrapped in the base of the root chakra makes its way up to the crown chakra ultimately to meet with Shiva so it's the meeting of Shakti with Shiva, Parvati with Shiva and so you have the red energy which has to make its way up to the blue and ultimate white uh, Sahasra Chakra energy. So this can be useful in activating your Kundalini energy, activating your third eye in order to connect with your spirit angels uh, in the other realm with your spirit guides um, your guardian angels and to just feel the connection with something uh, with a higher power like you don't just belong to this earth or to humankind but you belong to this entire universe so it helps you get that feeling of connectivity um, it helps to calm and focus still the mind uh, helps to heal your aura vibration raise your vibration and cleanse the environment it is sitting in so if you keep it in your bedroom or your workspace it can help to um, soothe and nourish the energies over there to make it more positive helps with dream recall and astral travel out of body travel hope purity good fortune um, it is soft the celestite is softer so it's generally not used as a gemstone but more as a healing stone and um, it's also uh, the most beautiful blue colored celestites come from Madagascar it's a primary source of the mineral strontium and it's used in sugar beet refining pyrotechnics and flares because it gives a brilliant red flame and um, the world's largest geode is actually found in Putin Bay, Ohio. It's a 35 foot long geode which is lined with celestite. How gorgeous! And um, it is actually open as a crystal cave and open to the public for viewing. So I'm excited to go see it someday, maybe, hopefully. And um, it is, of course, light uh, and heat sensitive, so it might lose its beautiful baby blue color if it's kept out in the sun so it should be charged only in the moonlight or under running water and uh, it's useful for seeking divine guidance when you feel stuck or you just need some help like how do i proceed further um, or if you have problems like panic attacks suspicions paranoia um, jealousy or problems with large crowds or when you're traveling if you are the type i know i am the type that i get stressed out if i have to be in a very crowded place with lots of people i prefer solitude or just being around people that i know share positive vibes 
um, or if people have problems with extreme shyness or fainting it helps with that uh, even little children can carry a small piece of celestite with them in the pocket it helps to calm their anxiety especially if they have ADHD or ADD and um, since it's uh, with a third eye it's, uh, it can help you get divine inspiration if you're an artist or a musician um, a designer anything to do with creativity uh, or if you own uh, like new age stores like crystal stores or you are into the yoga or uh, some or any of the new uh, the healing industries then it can help to have the celestite with you metaphysical services massage parlors reiki uh, or any kind of spiritual business it will help you to remain and stay ethical uh, connected with the actual purpose that you started that business with because it's not all about the money it's also about the purpose uh, it helps to balance the throat chakra so that all the energies from your lower chakras can make their way and you can express your voice if you feel stuck in your throat chakra else you can have problems if you keep your voice in and do not speak your true honest open uh, authentic opinion and uh, thoughts you need to express kindly but you need to express and um, it helps to acknowledge the divine gifts that you have and um, it's related to spring Gemini and cancer water energy rebirth helps with career life path to recognize your path it should be put in the north area of your house um, previously, um, the Celestine was associated with the Pallides, the Seven Sisters constellation in Taurus. Uh, it's called the Kritika Nakshatra in Vedic Jyotish. They are the mothers of uh, Kartikeya and uh, they nursed Kartikeya, that's uh, the Kritika Nakshatra and he gets the name Kartikeya from them. In Pakistan, the Pallides is called Parveen and stands for beauty. So the beautiful stone is a name for girls. And uh, the seven sisters were married to seven brothers called the Saptarishi. So there's a whole story about them, but it's a beautiful constellation. And um, let's, uh, there's a story of how Shiva, he, um, during the Samudra Manthan, the first thing that came out was halahal or poison during the churning of the ocean of milk by the devas and asuras so lord shiva was the one who had so much love that he was the one who took the poison that came without thinking about uh, the amrit he just took the poison for everyone and so his throat is blue so it's uh, the celestine can also help to heal your throat chakra where if you feel that there is poison in your throat because you are um, keeping your truth to yourself and not able to express it then you can pray to lord shiva to please 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 help you open up your throat chakra and you can ask him humbly to please take the poison from your throat because he can purify and uh, take it and save you so um, on that note let's pray to Lord Shiva have a beautiful meeting of Lord Shiva and his wife goddess Parvati your hands together in Anjali Mudra Om Namah Shiva Hari Om Shiva Om Shiva Om Hari Om Hari Om Shiva Om Shiva Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe the video.